Hi friends, I just got a new addition to my hydroponic collection. It is LEDPOD Mini Smart Hydroponic System. Model number is LPH M5W. Let's see how it looks like, what are all the accessories it came with, functionality and eventually its performance. Oh my goodness, wow, this is so compact, looks beautiful. No wonder why LEDPOD call it mini hydroponic system. It is really mini. Excellent finishing and very well designed. First things first, some instruction materials, then the pod stickers. Before I go further into unboxing, I wanted to check the dimensions of this QT. It is about 9 inches long and 5 inches wide. Alright, let's continue unboxing. Here is the grow deck. It supports 5 pods. And here is an opening to pour water and nutrients. It is just one piece excluding this little cap. Then a set of 5 pod baskets. Along with a set of germination covers also known as pod covers. Then 5 sponges, nutrients, 4 support sticks and 2 pod hole covers also known as spacers. Then the power adapter. Then the bowl. The light pole is connected to the bowl and it is detachable. It is a little bit tricky. There is a small lock at the bottom. We have to pull the light attachment while unlocking it. Take any sharp thing, something like a knife and lift up the lock. Here is the light panel. It has 10 voltage lights, same as Aerogood and Sprout model. Then the bowl. It has a see-through window to monitor the water level. The capacity of this bowl is 1.5 liters. And here is the pump that circulates the water. Gently pull up the cover to take out the pump while cleaning the bowl. I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on the power adapter. This is a USB Type-C cable connected to a power adapter. I really love this type of connection. If you have access to USB connection from your power outlet, then you can use the cable directly. No need to use this power adapter. My surge protector has support for USB, so I really appreciate this design. Now I will fill up some water and see how pump works. Alright, I added some water and connected to power supply. It is time to turn on the system. As I am turning it on, let's discuss about how to use this touch button. This system comes with only one touch button and the instructions are given on this panel about how to use this button. Long press to turn on or off the system. One click to switch between grow modes and double click to switch between pump modes. First I am turning on the system by long pressing. Alright, the system is on and pump started running. Water is flowing nice. Using the touch button is a little tricky but once we get used to it, it is easy. Let's talk about the pod baskets. These pod baskets are totally different from other lead pod hydroponic systems. These are short and square shaped. Other lead pod systems come with long and round pod baskets. Here is the side by side comparison. I really hate these short and square shaped pods. I prefer standard long and round pods that are standard across many hydroponic systems. I can easily find many off-brand sponges and stickers for a very reasonable price. But I don't see a lot of options for these square shaped sponges and they are often expensive. This is the reason I hate non-standard pods. 
Now let's check an interesting feature which is how low and how high we can adjust the lights. The lowest we can adjust is half an inch. From here we can adjust it up to 12 inches. This is pretty good and works for many plant varieties. Good that it came with a telescopic pole. We can adjust the height wherever we want to. Now let's talk about some technology. There are two versions in this model. LPH M5 and LPH M5W. The only difference between these models is M5W has built-in Wi-Fi and app connectivity. The one I am showing here is LPH M5W. So let's see how the Wi-Fi functionality works. I already installed the app since I have other LED port systems as you can see here. Now I am adding the LED port mini. It is easy and straightforward. Just enter the Wi-Fi details and the system will be added into the app. I am not a big fan of Wi-Fi in hydroponic systems. However, it has two very useful features. First one is adjusting the light time. We can set the start time and end time straight from the app. Second best feature is tracking the days planted. Everything else can be managed directly using the touch button on the system. Alright, that's pretty much all about the system. Overall, I am very impressed with this system. A compact and well-designed countertop hydroponic system. Support for 5 pots, 1.5 liter water capacity, 12 inches light adjustment, built-in Wi-Fi, well finishing, everything looks excellent with this system. However, design and specs is not everything to me. I really care about the performance. So I am starting my first experiment with it, growing lettuce. I will keep you posted with the results from this experiment, so please stay tuned. If you are curious, here is the status from day 18. Coming to the price, I see that it is currently priced at around $50 with the clickable coupon. It is definitely expensive compared to the other hydroponic systems like I do 8 pod model. But I think it is worth compared to Aero Garden Sprout given the value for money. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.